Welcome to the second Counter Foundation class. This class builds on class 1, which explained metric types, and looks at Counter Release 5 reports and what they mean. Release 5 of the Counter Code of Practice has four master reports. These are the Platform Master Report, the Database Master Report, the Title Master Report, and the Item Master Report. Master reports can be filtered on attributes, notably Year of Publication, or YOP, Data Type, Access Type, Access Method, and Metric Type. Class 1 explained metric types, and Class 4 explains the other attributes. Master reports provide the most complete view of data. You can filter them to show a subset of the data that suits your needs. Release 5 also includes standard views that pre-apply filters to produce reports. Many of the standard view reports are analogous to the Release 4 counter reports. They help create consistency for the sake of comparison from year to year or between institutions. Because standard views only hold a subset of the information from a master report, it is not possible to unfilter a standard view to obtain its parent master report. Before we go on to look at the reports in detail, there are a few key points to note. The set of master reports provided by a publisher or vendor will depend on their platform. For example, a publisher of an ANI database would not produce a title master report. It is possible to exclude the month-by-month -month breakdown of activity and show only the total activity for the whole reporting period. In Release 5, all counter reports have standard headers. These provide the following information the name of the report, the identifier for the report, the Count of Code of Practice release number from January 2019, only Release 5 is compliant, the name of the institution the report is attributed to, the identifier for that institution, the metric types included in the report, the list of filters applied to generate the report, the list of attributes applied to the data to generate the report, any exception that occurred in generating the report, the reporting period, that is, the date ranges covered by the report, the date the report was run, and the name of the organisation that generated the report. There is always a row left blank. This blank row is to make it easy to add filtering and sorting in Excel and Google Sheets. Every counter-compliant publisher and vendor will adhere to this common report header format, as anything else will not be counter-compliant. For the purposes of this foundation class, we're showing the header and body information separately, but in the actual report, these would be in the same sheet with the header in cells A1 to B13 and the body of the report below. All publishers and vendors must provide a Platform Master Report, or PR, showing activity across all metrics for entire platforms. The elements in the Platform Master Report are Platform, Data Type, Access Type, Access Method, Metric Type, and reporting period total. This is an example of what a platform master report looks like in action. The PR is relatively compact, only five columns across plus monthly breakdowns. Every metric type should be included, but for the purpose of this class, only a subset is shown in the example in this slide. A PR has been generated for publisher platform alpha. It covers the period from the 1st of January to the 30th of June, 2017, in this case, users from Sample University have investigated a series of journal and book items, but have not attempted to access any full text. This means that while there is a total of 10 investigations of 6 unique items, the report does not show any requests. If you're not sure about the terms investigations and unique items, take a look at Counter Foundation Class 1, which explains what they mean. There is one standard view for the PR. PRP1 is a preset standard view showing total and unique item requests, as well as platform searches. Database Master Reports, or DR, show activity across all metrics for entire databases or fixed collections of content which behave like a database. DRs are less compact than PRs, with nine columns across, plus monthly breakdowns. In addition to the columns in the PR, the DR shows the database name within the platform and the publisher details. The elements in the DR are database, publisher, publisher ID, platform, proprietary ID, data type, access method, metric type, and reporting period total. 
This is an example of part of a DR in action. Every metric type should be included, but again, only a subset is shown in the example on this slide. In this example, a DR has been generated for the multimedia database on Publisher Platform Alpha. It covers the period from the 1st of January to the 30th of June 2017, and in this case, users from Sample University have investigated eight items in the database and requested the full record for three of those items. The database master report can be filtered according to user needs and has two standard views. DRD1 is database search and item usage. This preset standard view shows total item investigations and requests, as well as searches. DRD2 is a database access denied report. This preset standard view of DR shows where users were denied access because simultaneous use, that is, concurrency licenses, were exceeded, or because their institution did not have a license for the database. Title Master Reports, or TR, show activity across all metrics for entire titles, which may be books or journals. The elements in the TR are Title, Publisher, Publisher ID, Platform, DOI, Proprietary ID, ISBN, Print ISSN, Online ISSN, URI, Data Type, Section Type, Year of Publication, or YOP, Access Type, access method, metric type, and reporting period total. This is an example of part of a title master report. We can see usage of Journal 6 published by Gamma. A total of eight items have been investigated and three item requests have been made from the journal during the reporting period. The title master report can be filtered according to user needs and has seven standard views, which apply to different host types. For example, an e-journal host does not need to provide TRB1, which applies only to books. The three standard views shown on this slide are used to evaluate usage of ebooks. TRB1 is a book requests excluding OA Gold report. It shows activity for all content that is not Gold Open Access. The numbers of unique item requests may vary between sites, and will vary based on whether the content is delivered as a complete book or by chapter, but the unique title requests will be the same regardless of delivery mechanism. Aggregated full content and ebook host types will provide this standard view. TRB2 shows book access denied. Again, this is a standard view of TR, and it shows where users were denied access to books because their concurrency licenses were exceeded or because their institution did not have a license for the book. Ebook host types will provide this report. TRB3 shows book usage by access type. This standard view of TR shows all applicable metric types broken down by access type. Aggregated full content and ebook host types will provide this report. And remember, access type is the attribute used to determine whether content was open access or not. If you used Release 4's BR1 and BR2 reports to assess book usage, you should now use only the TRB1 report to obtain comparable statistics. The unique title requests metric in TRB1 will tell you the usage for each book, whether the platform delivers whole books or individual chapters. The following four standard views of TR are used to evaluate usage of digital journals or e-journals. TRJ1 is a standard view showing full text activity for all content that is not gold open access. Aggregated full content and e-journal host types will need to provide this report. Note that this report is essentially equivalent to the counts in counter release for JR1 with the totals from JR1 GOA removed. TRJ2 is a preset standard view of TR showing where users were denied access to journals because simultaneous use, again concurrency licenses, were exceeded or their institution did not have a license to access the journal. Aggregated full content and e-journal host types will need to provide this report. TRJ3 is another preset standard view of TR showing all applicable metric types broken down by access type and again this will need to be provided by aggregated full content and e-journal host types. The final standard view related to journal usage is TRJ4. This is journal requests by year of publication, excluding gold open access. 
This report can be filtered by title to view usage by year of publication, or use it to create a pivot table to analyse the data. Again, aggregated full content and e-journal publishers will need to provide this report. This scenario shows how a librarian, Barbara, might use the title master reports in evaluation. She wants to assess the usage from journal X and would like to know what the total usage is and how much of that is for OA Gold articles. She therefore downloads the title master report. This shows the count for access type controlled unique item requests at 49 and the count for access type OA Gold unique item requests at 18. In this case, Barbara can see that total usage for the journal in the period is 67, 49 plus 18, and 73% of the usage is for controlled content, with only 27% for OA Gold. Barbara then filters the title master report using the year of publication or YOP column to eliminate the current year and show only articles in her perpetual access back files. This now shows the count for access type controlled unique item requests at 18 and access type OA gold unique item requests at 3. So the total usage for this journal in perpetual access back files is 21, 18 plus 3. 86% of the usage is for controlled content and just 14% for OA Gold. An Item Master Report, or IR, shows activity across all metrics for single items, such as articles or videos. It is particularly useful for assessing usage from institutional repositories. An IR contains so much detail that it is not possible to show an example report here. The 39 column headings associated with an IR cover the item itself, its parent, its component parts, and appear in the IR in the order shown in this slide. As with all master reports, an item master report can be filtered according to user needs. It also has two standard views. IR A1 is journal article requests. This standard view shows total item requests for journal articles. Institutional repositories are the host type most likely to use this report. IRM1 is for multimedia item requests, and this shows total item requests for all multimedia items. Multimedia publishers are the host type most likely to use this report. There are some reports which were in Release 4 of the Counter Code of Practice and that have been eliminated in Release 5. The three mobile reports, Journal Report 3 Mobile, Title Report 1 Mobile, and Title Report 3 Mobile have been eliminated because few platforms now offer a bespoke mobile view. They rely instead on responsive design. Release 5 also eliminates consortium reports because their size makes creating and consuming them impractical. Consortia should use Sushi to harvest individual reports for each member. Counter is facilitating the creation of tools that will make obtaining consortia reports a simple, one-step process. The other thing that has been removed from Release 5 Master Reports and Standard Views is zero usage. For technical reasons, not all publishers or vendors are able to determine for which titles and date ranges zero usage would have to be included in their reports. If their systems can deliver this information, they may choose to offer customised Counter 5 reports, including zero usage. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about this class, please contact us at compliance at counterusage.org and we will be pleased to answer. You can also learn more about Counter Release 5 by watching the other Foundation classes on our YouTube channel.